With 2015 being over and 2016 just beginning, I thought it would be fun to take a look back at some of the blasters I thought stood out from the rest of the crowd. And that's why I'm going to be giving you my top five best blasters of 2015. If you'd like to see my top five worst blasters, you can click right here and go watch that. Now, before I continue, these are my personal top fives and your personal top fives might differ. If you'd like to discuss or debate about what should be where, you can do that in the comment section as long as it stays civil and doesn't devolve into the sling fire reviews comment section because that was terrible. But I am open to uh, civil debates and discussion, so have at it. Now before we get into the top five, there are two honorable mentions for 2015, starting with the Orange Elite Alpha Trooper. Mostly because I love the Elite Alpha Trooper and so did a lot of people and when Nerf took them away it was kind of like, why Hasbro? Why would you do that? And with it coming back in an orange color, which uh, I don't mind at all, it is nice to have a popular blaster back on the market even if it means going to Kohl's. The second honorable mention goes to the Big Shock, the little pistol with a lot of potential power in it. Very comfortable, the paint job is spot on, and there is a lot of modding ability inside that little thing, but it didn't have enough edge to get it to the number five spot on this list. Speaking of the fifth place spot, my fifth place goes to not a Nerf branded blaster, but the Busby Sentinel. Busby really stepped up their game in 2015, and the Sentinel is a perfect example of that. If you are interested in the sling fire, but you don't want to spend sling fire money, you don't want to have to deal with gears when you're modding, or you don't want to deal with the flimsy plastic priming lever, or you just want something that performs really well straight out of the box, the Busby Sentinel is for you, and this blaster definitely shows that Busby knows what they're doing. The number four spot has two blasters because I could not decide between the two of them, and number four goes to both the Roto Fury and the Cyclone Shock. The Roto Fury is a very, very comfortable blaster that is a lot of fun to shoot and takes rebarreling really nicely for all you modders out there. The only thing it's really missing is a stock adapter piece on the back because if it had that, ooh, it would be perfect. It'd be a perfect blaster if it had that, but it is really good on its own. The Cyclone Shock is a pistol-sized cannon that shoots very well. It also takes well to rebarreling and is a lot of fun to play with. I'm not really big into the Megaline. I'm more of an elite dart person, but these two blasters really deserve the number four spot. And number three goes to the Busby Brute, the rapid strike for those on a budget. The Busby Brute is an excellent blaster for those who want to war on a budget as it performs well, it shoots well, and it can take Nerf equipment, which is kind of awesome, especially for its price tag. So if you're looking for an automatic blaster, but you don't want to pay the $35 to $45 for a rapid strike, look no further than my number three pick for 2015, the Busby Brute. Runner-up for Best Blaster of 2015 goes to another non-Nerf branded blaster, and that is the Colossal Blitz. That is right, the Colossal Blitz comes in at my number two pick because there is almost nothing more satisfying in the dart flinging world than sending 70 plus rounds downfield in under 15 seconds while watching the drums just turn and unload at your enemy. It is so satisfying and this blaster is a lot of fun. While the full retail price of the Colossal Blitz and loading the thing up are pretty off-putting, I will definitely agree with that. If you can find this thing on sale, definitely get it because it is a lot of fun. I absolutely adore it and I actually need to go get a second one because, oh, I just can't get enough of it. The Colossal Blitz is my number two pick for best blaster of 2015. And the best blaster of 2015, drum roll please, goes to the Rival Line. This should come as no surprise to anyone. The Rival Line is just pure awesome. The Rival Line had a great start in 2015 with the introduction of the Zeus and the Apollo, with the Apollo being the entry-level blaster and the Zeus being this powerhouse that's a lot of fun to mod and just overkill as per out of darts, uh, crazy creations. I have really enjoyed the Rival Line and I'm seriously anticipating what they bring out in 2016 if they do bring out anything, which would be weird if they didn't. But the Rival Line is my number one spot because it performs well, it shoots great, and it is super duper accurate. All we really need now is some cheap, 
third party rival ammo so we can stock up on thousands and thousands of rounds and never run out. So my best blasters of 2015 are the Sentinel, the Roto Fury and Cyclone Shock, the Brute, the Colossal Blitz, and the Rival Line. If you have a top five of your own that slightly differs or is just completely different or you agree or disagree with my list, leave your comments in the comment section below, but please keep it civil. If you haven't yet watched my top five worst blasters of 2015, you can go check that out right over here. And I hope your 2015 went well and hopefully your 2016 goes better. I am really looking forward to what Nerf brings out this year. So fingers crossed on a lot of good stuff. Hope you enjoyed this video and as always, have a great day wherever you are.